Hi, this is Tony from LandShack.com, and today we're going to show you how to install our Quicktrex brand Cat5 and Cat6 plugs using our patented load bar system. These connectors are not only easy to use, but are among the highest quality you'll find anywhere. The load bars make for a quicker, easier, and more foolproof installation. These fine connectors are accurately made to industry standards and therefore will work with any brand of standard high quality crimpers. The following are the tools which we will use today. The Quicktrex RJ45 Ratchet Crimper, the Quicktrex Easy Stripper Tool, and last but not least, our award winning Quicktrex Wire Surgeon Electrical Scissors. Before we begin, we'll need to choose a wiring scheme. Basically, there are three to choose from, which are 568A, 568B, or crossover. We will use 568B, which is a straight through and is the most widely recognized and is used in close to 99% of the cases. We will begin by using the Easy Cable Stripper Tool to skin the cable without nicking the wire's insulation. I'll go about an inch and a half back from the cut end of the cable to begin to spin the tool around the cable once or twice. Then we will bend the cable slightly back and forward and then pull off the cable's insulation. Next, we will untwist the pairs up to but not past the point where they exit the jacket. I'm going to show you a little tech tip now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start to remove the twists and to make it easier to get it all the way down, we'll use a piece of the cable's insulation, which will make it a lot easier to take the twists off the cables. Okay, now that we have uh, all the twists removed from the uh, wires, we'll get a blunt, blunt object. In this case, I'm going to use a long nose plier just to straighten out those twists, those last few twists, we're gonna straighten them out using this blunt instrument. Now all the, the wires are straight and we're ready to start putting them into the, the 568B pattern. At this time, we're going to arrange the wires in this order. White orange, orange white, white green, blue white, white blue, green white, white brown, and brown white. So we'll take the cable and put it in that order. Once again, white, orange, followed by orange, white. We're gonna take the white, green wire, put it next. That's followed by the blue, white, followed by the white, blue. Then we're gonna go with the green, white, the white, brown, and the brown, white. At this time, we have the wires perfectly straight and in the 568B configuration. Before I make a cut, I'm going to check the wiring scheme one more time just to make sure that it is correct. So I've looked at it and it is correct. And we'll proceed now to make a straight cut using our wire surgeon electrical scissors. The wire surgeon scissors are very accurate and therefore will make a very straight cut, which is crucial to getting this just right. So I'm going to make a cut approximately uh, an inch and a quarter out past where the skin point is. And we're gonna cut straight across. At this point, we're gonna to prepare to put the load bar on. The load bar has two sides. One side is flush and the other one is hollow. The hollow side is gonna go into the wires first and the flush side will be facing out. So now we'll proceed to put the load bar on. So now we're gonna to prepare to put the connector on. And in order to do that, we gotta do one more cut on this uh, assembly. We're going to get the uh, load bar approximately uh, a little more than a quarter of an inch away from the skin point. And we're going to take the wire surgeon scissors and we're gonna make another cut, which is about a 16th of an inch past the end of the load bar. So now that we have the wires cut, very accurately, we'll proceed to put on the connector. 
And now the wires are in and we're ready to crimp. Take our crimper tool, on the, put it on the eight position side, and we'll proceed to plug the cable right into our crimper tool right here until it locks in place. And now we make the crimp. Now that's a good crimp. We'll remove the connector from the tool. Now at this point uh, you have to decide whether or not you want to put boots on the cable. Boots are not required, but uh, I'm going to show them anyway. This step can be eliminated if you don't want boots. We uh, should measure out the length of our cable at this point, and we've measured out six feet already. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first boot and put it on the cable facing the opposite connector. I will take the second boot and face it towards the end of the cable. I'll slide it down the cable and we will just install it onto the end of our connector. It will snap right in place. Okay, now we have the boot installed on the connected end and we have the other boot ready to go facing towards the end of the cable. Now at this point we're going to repeat the exact procedure that we just did to install another connector on the end of this cable and make a complete ca uh, cable out of it. And now that we have a connector on each end, we're ready to test. I'm going to plug this into the tester. And we'll proceed to do a test. We have a good connection. Now that was an easy job with QuickTrex quality. Thank you for visiting us today. We hope you enjoyed this tip. This is Tony Casaza from LandShack.com. Have a great day.